Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to thank you for the continuous support, suggestions, and phone calls. Today's vlog, we're with Mr. Trevor Bernard, and we're going to tackle our next topic of Gold Farm Essential. And we're going to be tuning in on a very important topic of how is it that we reduce our particle size for our forages, which is known to improve and increase dry matter intake for animals, which ultimately leads to more production. So we'll be looking at the sharp cutting machine, which he brought in, and we're going to see a small tutorial on how is it that we can use this machine. Um, good afternoon, farmers. How are you today? Um, we're going to speak on a very important topic because I realize that we're trying to improve our nutrition game, especially for our ruminants, and we want to first describe how we want to present our feed. So when you go to a restaurant, say for example, you go by KFC and you ask them for a chicken meal, say a number two, and they provide you a chicken in one section, they provide you with your fries in one section and a cup of drink. This is how we want to start looking at how we feed our animals. And an important thing is particle size distribution or presenting grass that we have in a better form so animals can consume as much of it as possible. That is what we need. A key to this is driving dry matter intake. And that's a very limiting factor with Jamaica because how that we present our, our forages. In the days, this was a very common way of how farmers would feed their animals. They would just go in the field, cut, and they would drop this inside of the feed trap. And when you come back, you realize that a lot of these bony parts, or even some of the leaves, is, is still in the trap. So you're actually wasting your feed. So what we think about, or what Mr. Bernard did, was to invest in a shafting machine. And what he did was brought in a whole lot more, so farmers like you can acquire one for yourself. The shafting machine helps in reducing the particle size of long forages like this, and this allows your animals to eat more. And that's what we want. We want more consumption of grasses. So we want to do a quick, small tour with Mr. Bernard on how we actually use this machine because best practices will give you the best results. So let us now look at how is it that we actually start this machine, how is it that we use it, and let us look at even the particles. Bernard, can you quickly just show us how you start up this machine and you know how is it that you use it and you know reduce the particle size of forages for your animals? This trough cutter is a gas engine trough cutter. Trough cutters come gas engine, electric, diesel. That's what, that, that's what usually runs these machinery. So this is a 7.5 horsepower gas engine trough cutter. Now, it has a switch here, on, off. Basically, this turns on and turn off the gas. So off, and this way is on to turn off the gas. This to turn on the gas. This is the choke. Usually when you start the machine, you bring it this way, you draw the string, and as soon as it starts, you push it back, and that is the choke. This is the lever that revs the engine. The more you push it this way is the more RPM of the engine. You don't want to rev it too hard. You probably want to go in the middle with it. And this is the on-off. This is the electrical part that turns it on and off. And it is labeled here. The machine also has a dipstick here that you use to check the engine oil. And you should probably change the engine oil maybe once a month. This just screws out just like a lawnmower engine. And you check the engine oil on the dipstick and you put in back the cork. These two screws, we pull it off and you look inside here. It has blades, four blades that spins and chops the forage. So the forage or the grass comes in through here. These, these wheels here, grab it. As you look, you can see it's, I spin it with my hand and it draws the material in. You don't have to push it as such, it draws the material and then the blade turns like this and cuts the material. And then it spits out the material around the back right here and the material comes out here. This machine also has a small gearbox. This is neutral and it can go over this side. Sometimes you have to spin the gear here and put it in gear. This is long length and over here is a shorter length cut okay. and you know Khalil talk about the, the length of the particle size and then over here is neutral that is basically everything about this machine that you should know on so it's on now yeah okay. so you choke it and you choke it and then you just draw it Mr. 
Mr. Bernard, I know all these machines have what you call like a maintenance schedule or something that you should follow. Quickly give me some of those quick maintenance tips for a machine like this. Okay, one of the things is that the engine oil, as I showed you where you throw the oil in there, I would change the oil once a month. Change it often. It doesn't take a lot of oil, less than a quarter of oil. Um, it has an air cleaner right here with the nut right here. I would take off the air cleaner and blow it out almost every time you're going to use it. Keep the air cleaner clean. Also, inside the machine, every time you cut the grass, there's a lot of forage sometimes leave back inside the machine. You should keep inside here clean. Sometimes, if you over with too much material inside here, it will jam up the machine. Don't force it. Stop the machine and clean it out and start again. And that's generally what happens. The belt, it has a fan belt in here. On a regular basis, you should check the fan belt. It should not be and make sure it is okay and also these machines vibrate a lot and some of the screws and the bolts and all those things will slacken up from time to time you should thoroughly inspect the machine every time you are going to use it check all the bolts check over the entire machine and most of all make sure you have gas in the engine <laughs> <laughs> let me ask you now what about the blades would you recommend how often would you sharpen your blades or what would be the best way to sharpen blades I have used one of these machines for maybe maybe two years and I've never had to sharpen the blade. Okay. But these blades are sharpened on either side. So you can pull the blades and actually turn them around and, and sharpen them. And to sharpen them, you can carry it to a machine shop and have it sharpened, but it is very similar to sharpening a cutlass. You only sharpen the blade on one side. On one side. Right. It's All a special right. way of sharpening. But you could do it at a machine shop or you could um, do it yourself and also there's adjustments when you sharpen the blade usually sharpen it and make sure it's going near the cutting edge here you, you can adjust the blade okay but that's something that you won't do it and you, can, you also shouldn't put big particle size through the machine you put big big pieces of stick and you know get the particles smaller if you're going to cut up some tree forage or so forth because it will just lend you know lend the life of the blade at the machine to show us now how to use this machine Mr. Bernard. Yes, we're going to cut up some grass, some king. I do hope this video helped in kind of giving you a better understanding of how is it that we use the shaft and machine, how we start it up, how is it that we should maintain it and key features that we can look into to ensure that we get the best particle size distributed on the farm. But particle size reduction is very important as it influences chewing time which is the buffering capacity of the rumen. It drives feed intake and it also improves digestibility and results and affects the rate of passage of these feeds throughout the animal body. This increases ultimately the rumen activity and the rumen health and that's what we want. We want a healthy rumen, an active rumen that can easily digest these forages that we have here locally and feed our animals right. So what do I get from this and what do I recommend to farmers? Invest in a shafting machine. Um, it improves your digestibility of your feed and it also reduces the wastage. And remember, after using the machine, please clean it down to ensure that we extend the life of this machine. Um, so on an update, I remember a 14-year-old farmer, Jeremy Enro, he's showcasing his new animals that he has in and the effects of the hyperfeed on these animals, and especially on his cow. So the general maintenance ration is doing well out there that can be used to feed both your small ruminants and both your large ruminants. So thank you guys. See you next time.